all members in expressing the complete solidarity of this Assembly and the Welsh people as a whole with the people of Manchester and all those families who are suffering today. This was a particular form of cruelty at work because this act was directed towards teenagers coming out of a concert. It's difficult to imagine an act more appalling and more senseless. So with all Assembly members and the people of Wales will want to stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of Manchester today. This is the cruelest type of terrorism against young people and teenagers at a concert. We must all stand firmly together against this kind of senseless cruelty, which is immoral and beyond comprehension. Police, the ambulance service, the NHS in Manchester and all those in the city who opened their doors and reached out the hand of help when help was needed. Already we've seen countless stories of bravery, generosity and solidarity which show beyond doubt that the people of Manchester and this country will not bow to terrorism, that hope, togetherness and unity will always beat hate and those who seek to divide us. Manchester is well known and well loved to very many Welsh people, especially those living in the north. It's seen terrorism before and I have no doubt about the resilience and strength of that great city. So I have written both to the Prime Minister and the Mayor of Manchester, Andy Burnham, expressing our outrage at the attacks and offering our solidarity with the people of Manchester. I received a national security briefing from the Cabinet Office by phone this morning and we will of course continue to monitor events as they develop. The priorities at this stage, however, must be to give families the support they need and allow the police the time and space required to conduct their fast-moving investigations without distraction. We must never get used to terrorism at home or abroad. We can never accept these attacks as a fact of life. We should continue to call it what it is, alien, cruel and hateful. The message from this chamber is that we will not be cowed, nor will we shrink into the shadows, and nor will we change our way of life. So that is the best tribute we can offer to the people of Manchester today.